Hello and welcome to the Financial Room. I'm your host Natasha Bridgemohan, President of the Bridge Group of Companies and Mortgage Broker with Mortgage Intelligence. Thank you for joining me today as we continue in the eight-part series of negotiation tactics, the key to success in consumer negotiation. This is our sixth episode. We have two more to go after this and it's, today's topic is about a very important power called reverent power. Now this is a very underutilized power that many consumers do not use but it's one of the most powerful powers that you can use in terms of negotiating and getting what you deserve and getting the best product and making sure that your best interest is always looking after in regards to dealing with a mortgage broker, insurance broker, or a real estate agent. Now what is the definition of reverent power my friends? Very simple, it's called the power of constant uh, set of values, someone having a constant set of values, something that is purposeful and meaningful with principles or a set of regulations and following certain rules and policies. Now when you're dealing with a mortgage broker, they are the subject matter expert alike also alike with real estate agents and insurance brokers, but also you can also educate yourself and understand a little bit about that industry and use that reverend power to your negotiation uh, tactic in terms of obtaining what you need in terms of your best interest again. So for example, if you're dealing with a mortgage underwriter and they are educating you in respect to certain products and services, but you are educated in terms of understanding certain recent regulations, changes in terms of the mortgage industry, if you bring that to your negotiation table and say, listen, I'm fully aware of these par these new regulations that are set um, in place and based on my values, these are things that I would like to uh, obtain instead of what you're trying to offer me. So again, you can use your reverend power to become a great negotiator in terms of education. And education is very, very key in obtaining something that's very, very meaningful and ambitious and towards your goals in terms of financial. Now again, dealing with an insurance broker, same type of philosophy or method if I may say, Reverend power is very, very important in understanding their rules and strategies in terms of the regulata regulatory bodies that regulate insurance uh, companies in terms of products and services. So if you have an insurance broker trying to educate you or sell you a wrong product, but you are knowledgeable and you have your set of values in terms of understanding that, you can bring that information to the table in your conversation and enlighten them to move forward in giving you what you deserve. Same thing with real estate agent or brokers alike. If they're selling your home or they're trying to find a home for you in terms of a, in the real sale market or, or even the new construction, understanding a little bit about the real estate requirements in terms of protection regarding a real estate agent representing you, whether it be a buyer representation or consumer representation, knowing those definitions and those meanings and bringing them to the table can help you um, during the negotiation process working with a real estate agent. So reverend power is actually very, very important. I'm going to repeat it again because it, it's very important in terms of being very knowledgeable. A knowledge is key to becoming a very successful consumer in terms of negotiation. So that's something very, very important that you need to carry through in terms of any negotiation skill sets that you would like to obtain in the consumer market to become a great negotiator. Again, you could always visit us on, on YouTube or even on our website at www.thebridgegroup.ca or you can contact us toll free at 1-866-553-7467, 1-866-553-7467. Thank you for watching and again, see you soon. Take care.